hello guys uh, in this particular video what I'm going to discuss is a very important concept which is asked in your boards exam again and again that is what is the major difference between aldol condensation and Canizaro reaction questions would sometime uh, come in your exam which would uh, give you many compounds and uh, they will ask you uh, give the compound give the or sorry uh, write which compounds will undergo aldol condensation which will undergo Canizaro reaction and which will undergo neither of them okay so for that we'll go parts by part first I am discussing about Canizaro reaction okay so we will take an aldehyde basically aldol condensation and Canizaro both uh, take place in the uh, for an aldehyde so we will take an aldehyde which lacks alpha hydrogen okay which lacks alpha hydrogen right so uh, we are taking this uh, particular aldehyde say tert butyl tert butyl aldehyde tert butyl means tertiary butyl See, three methyl groups are attached this particular carbon and an aldehyde group is attached now what is alpha hydrogen so the functional group attached to the carbon in this case this is the carbon this carbon is known as alpha carbon and the number of hydrogens possessed by this alpha carbon are called as alpha hydrogens right so in this case we have no hydrogens attached to this particular carbon which is alpha carbon so we have no alpha hydrogen now if I am allowing this thing to react uh, two molecules of this thing to react in a concentrated NaOH or or concentrated KOH you can take either of them environment so what will happen see one more one molecule of this thing will get converted into alcohol Okay. and another molecule will get oxidized so here what happened here reduction happened aldehyde to alcohol is reduction okay why reduction because addition of hydrogens okay and from aldehyde to carboxylate ion oxidation will take place CO minus so if I am taking NaOH then this will be COONA if I am taking KOH this will be COOK so that's why I am writing a general thing CO minus and further if we will uh, say we will make this react in a H3O plus or simply do a hydrolysis of this thing then we will get COOH which is carboxylic acid right so this is a clear figure of how can is a reaction takes place okay now we'll discuss aldol condensation and things related to them right so first of all aldol condensation here also we take aldehyde but the difference is here the aldehyde must contain alpha hydrogens right so um, this is an example of aldehyde containing alpha hydrogen and particularly this thing you can call it acetaldehyde common name or ethanol okay so uh, now see what will happen 
I'm allowing this thing to react in a dilute NOH environment. Uh, another thing, uh, contrasting between aldol condensation and Canizaro. Uh, in Canizaro, we take concentrated NOH, and in aldol, we'll take dilute NOH. Okay. Concentrated means the concentration should be greater than 50% means here what is given uh, greater than 50% of NaOH in water so aqueous solution this is concentrated NaOH and here we take dilute NaOH so basically what will happen uh, this one this is one molecule of ethanol and I take another molecule of ethanol okay so first of all why condensation will take place okay so there is a double bond between carbon and oxygen so basically when this double bond will break in the dilute NaOH environment what will happen the electrons will shift to a higher electronegative species which is here oxygen and so this will gain a partial positive charge and oxygen will gain a partial negative charge okay now this partial positive charge and uh, partial negative charge they will induce this uh, carbon hydrogen bond of the uh, alpha carbon here this is the alpha carbon okay so the, uh, this bond will break and of course again here carbon will gain a partial negative charge being more electronegative than hydrogen and hydrogen will gain a partial positive charge and the hydrogen loss will take place from here as this positive H plus will go to this O minus and this will go here and will get something like CH3 CH OH CH2 CHO okay now clearly we need a alpha hydrogen right because we want that one hydrogen atom from this alpha carbon particularly uh, is removed and is attached to this uh, O minus in or partial negative O atom in the first molecule of uh, ethanol we take we took so um, so yeah that's why we need at least one alpha hydrogen and uh, particularly this is giving a structure of aldehyde appearance of aldehyde and this is giving an appearance of alcohol so we take ald from here oil from here and we call it aldol right okay to uh, make you understand in a better way uh, i'm taking a larger chain of aldehyde say i'm taking propen one al say okay well, let's rub the complete board I'm taking propanol CH3 CH2 CHO right and I'm uh, taking two molecules of this thing to react in a dilute NaOH environment and clearly you can see that here this is the alpha carbon and it consists of two hydrogen so at least we have one hydrogen for elimination from the second molecule we take uh, so this can easily undergo uh, uh, that aldol condensation so we take the first molecule here right and now the trick lies here how to write the second molecule what I told you earlier is that the hydrogen loss takes place from the alpha carbon alpha hydrogen loss so rightly you know we can say that from this particular CH2 the hydrogen loss will take place so I'm writing it here for your convention only and this is CHO and another CH2 is attached to it right sorry CH3 is attached to it okay so now uh, this double bond over particularly when it will break okay this will give a partial uh, negative charge here a partial positive charge as we did earlier and due to induction uh, okay sorry 
due to induction what will happen this becomes partial negative this becomes partial positive uh, be a bit uh, sure with the arrows you give okay always the bonds break and electrons are uh, electrons go to a comparatively higher electronegative element right so now again plus will go to minus minus will go to plus same sort of reaction will take place and here the product form will be something like this here CH3 is attached here OH is attached if you uh, remember the product we discussed earlier if you don't remember you can always rewind back and see the product was something like this which we discussed earlier for aldol condensation of ethanol right so okay see alcohol and aldehyde in case of nomenclature we know that aldehyde has a higher preference above alcohol so clearly you can say that this will be the first carbon this will be the second this will be the third so this carbon is attached to this particular carbon which we can call alpha carbon as I told functional group attached to the carbon is called as alpha carbon and so this carbon will called as beta carbon and you can see OH atom is attached to this beta carbon so a common name we can uh, attach to this thing will be beta hydroxy aldehyde why so this OH atom is attached to this beta carbon so this is beta hydroxy aldehyde right here also you see this is the functional group attached to the carbon this so this carbon will be alpha carbon and the carbon attached to the alpha carbon is beta carbon and again hydroxide sorry hydroxy group is attached to this beta carbon again we can call it beta hydroxy aldehyde right okay so and this is a common name for aldols okay every aldol will be in this form in IUPAC name of course you can call it say for example I'm taking this thing this is the first carbon the second the third carbon so you can call it 2 methyl 3 hydroxy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pentan 1 all of course you can call it like this okay so this is how aldol condensation take place if you take two same molecules to react now what will happen if we take two different molecules to react or which is also called as cross aldol what you mean by cross aldol is if I am taking one molecule of ethanol and I am making it react with one molecule of propanol so here the concept lies okay you will get four products okay don't get confused you will get four products one will be due to the self condensation of ethanol which we did earlier and we got product like this right and due to self condensation of this propanol and we got a product like this okay so these things I have already discussed with you now what are the next two products that will be formed right so okay so 
the first different product that will be formed will be due to the condensation of ethanol being the first molecule and the propanol being the second molecule again you can do the same sort of mechanism you can try it of your own you will get a product like this right and of course this thing will be done in a dilute NaOH environment or dilute KOH environment um, another product that will be formed when we take propanol uh, to be the first molecule and ethanol to be the second molecule again you can try same sort of stuff and you will get something like this right so here also you see the OH is present in the beta carbon here also the OH is present in the beta carbon so both are beta hydroxy aldehyde which I earlier told you the common name for um, aldols so what we got actually how many products we got so this is ethanol this is propanol and reaction taking place in a dilute NaOH environment right the first product we got was due to the self condensation of ethanol the second product we got was due to the self condensation of propanol right and the third product what we got was due to the cross condensation of Uh, ethanol being the first molecule and propanol being the second molecule and the fourth product is propanol being the first molecule and of course ethanol being the second molecule so these all are nothing but beta hydroxy aldehydes or aldols right so this particular question is sometimes asked in your exam so you have to be well prepared for it right another thing which I will discuss here is uh, condensation when we don't take aldehyde rather we take ketones say I'm taking acetone right this is acetone so what if I take two molecules of acetone and react with dilute in your age? so okay we are discussing this right now so see so this is CH3 C double bond O CH3 this is the first molecule okay and again I'm taking the second molecule but here is a change you see this is the functional group and of course this is this is the you have two carbons two is the functional group that has. I'm taking any one of it so I'm taking things like this okay so here you see what will happen the double bond here will shift to again the more electronegative element in this particular bond which is oxygen and here due to induction again this thing will shift to 
carbon okay be specific with the bonds now again positive will go to negative sorry and negative will go to positive so here you don't get confused right because sometimes you can get confused uh, okay i'm saying uh, this thing of course it will again take place in dilute nh uh, environment so here you don't get confused here the thing will, that will take place is see for o minus what is approaching o minus h plus so here of course there will be oh another thing that is attached to this ch is uh, this carbon is ch3 so okay ch3 right now this is a carbocation it's a positive charge right it's a carbocation to this carbocation uh, which okay why carbocation because uh, cation means positive charge and uh, this is a carbon so carbocation okay uh now this ch2 will approach to this carbocation and will form bond okay now see this particular thing is a ketone from appearance and this particular thing is an alcohol from appearance so you can say like that aldehyde plus alcohol we are telling that alcohol sorry aldol and here we can say this is ketone so this particular condensation we can name is ketone condensation sometimes it can ask so you should be knowing it right uh likewise you can also do cross ketone condensations and sometimes there can be question where you would be asked taking a ketone and condensing it with an aldehyde right a uh, very few chances that it could be asked but it can be asked so because this thing is not right there is a mechanism okay, you can try it of your own and you can uh, i'm writing the question in a fair manner you can try that of your own you can give the mechanism ch3 this is acetone plus in presence of whenever dilute noh is taken and you can see that clearly uh, uh, the alpha carbon here this is alpha carbon they have the hydrogens okay at least one hydrogen then of course aldol condens or any sort of condensation maybe ketol aldol anything so one thing you know this this product we discussed due to self condensation this product also we discussed due to self condensation and another two products i am writing here you can try it of your own of course the mechanism and you are always welcome to ask questions in the comments this will be another product the third product and another will be when we take the ethanol to be the first molecule and the acetone to be the second get product like this okay so due to self condensation of this thing we will get an aldol and due to self condensation of a ketone we will get a ketol and this is also a ketol you see this is the alpha carbon this is the beta beta hydroxy ketol okay uh yeah this is also ketol okay what is this right this is a, from appearance this is an aldehyde and this is an alcohol so again this is an aldol right so uh don't get confused okay you can always try you try this mechanisms uh, if you have understood till now then it will be very easier for you to do the mechanisms and if you can't then just let me know in the comment section we will make a separate videos for mechanisms also right so till then thank you and do like and if you want you can share it to your friends who might need it helpful for their upcoming board exams uh and all the best do subscribe to cbc point right